Hello, this is Rob from robcoven.com here to show you how you can convert stuff from PowerPoint and Excel that you've got from your clients and put it into Illustrator and uh, improve the quality of the material visually. Uh, here we have a little chart in PowerPoint that I've got from a client and the great thing is that you don't have to recreate this. You just copy it in PowerPoint, Command or Control C, and go to Illustrator, create a new document, Command or Control N. Now, depending on whether you want this for the internet or on screen purposes or print, uh, we're going to do it in RGB for the internet or maybe some sort of on screen presentation. Uh, but if you're doing it for print, obviously it would be CMYK. I'm going to create I would choose anyway the raster effects to be at uh, the highest possible resolution and you just paste what you have copied from PowerPoint Excel into the Illustrator document, Command or Control V. Now two things you have to do now to make things easier for yourself. Firstly go to Object Clipping Mask Release that will enable you to select the different elements easily. Also, you can object ungroup as well at this stage, though at the, in this particular case, um, you don't need it. Now, you'll find that you have a few boxes here that you don't really need. They are actually either white or, or have a fill of nothing. If you go view outline or command Y, you'll see these boxes, you can just select them and delete them because you don't need them. And also there are some unpleasant black lines here. You can see in the color palette that they are filled with nothing, so it's not the orange, and they have a stroke of black. So in order to select them all, just go same fill and stroke and then delete them to get rid of them. You can do what you want now with the graph, it is all in vector and the text is all edit editable. Uh, let's put this in Gil Sands and also we can uh, change the colour. If you are doing a print document, you may want to change your blacks in the text. Uh, click that little black there on the CMYK spectrum and this will stop it printing on the cyan, magenta and yellow plates which is n never a good idea. You, you may want to choose uh, a grey for this and do the same thing with uh, these other bits of text. Change it into whatever font you need. Um, the other beauty of this now is you can do what you want with the coloured bars or any other objects in the uh, table that you've, or whatever diagram you've, you're taking into Illustrator from Excel or PowerPoint. Um, you can put a um, any sort of texture onto it, that was the word I was looking for. Um, you could also uh, put some sort of 3D effect onto it, um, but the point is that there it is all from Illustrator, all from PowerPoint, beg your pardon, or Excel, and you can move it into Illustrator and improve on it in any particular way and then you can export that to a PDF on screen, export it to print or put it out on the web um, and it will look a lot nicer uh, once you've had a bit of time to, to play around with what you have there. So this is Rob from robcoven.com, uh, a little tutorial there, hope you liked it and I'll see you again soon, bye.